Hey guys, Garrett here. Want to take a quick look at the squat. Again, squat's a very basic exercise that everyone should at some point include in their program. What I'm finding a lot of my initial evaluations that I'm seeing a lot of people having difficulty with the squat, but then when I go and test ankle, hip, thoracic spine, range of motion, just to see if they have the necessary range of motion to get into the right position, they actually do, but it's more of an issue with being able to go through the movement, sit back on the heels with a nice upright body position. So in those instances, when we find we have the necessary mobility to actually do the exercise properly, what we can do is actually add a dumbbell or some kind of weight in front of us. So as we sit down into the squat, we have that counterbalance to kind of reprogram that movement pattern to be more effective. So and what I like to call here the counterbalance squat, and if you have the problem, if you notice as you squat without any kind of weight, bar, anything, you come down, a lot of people have this big lean forward, a lot of people will start to lose balance backwards, or you'll notice people really kind of let those heels lift up as they go forward. So adding some kind of weight here to the front will allow you to sink back into the hips a lot better with a good upright posture. So just to demonstrate a few reps here, as I sit down, that's when I'm gonna actually press the weight in front of me. Sit down, I can sit down nice and low, my chest is up, back is up tall, and then I'm gonna drive up from there and pull the weight back to my body. So that counterbalance squat is a good way Again, as part of your warm up before you actually go into the squat, just to groove that pattern. Because I think if you're having some difficulty staying upright and keeping a nice balanced position, actually implementing this within your program will help retrain that movement to be more effective.